Hey everybody, it's Julie, a model traveler. Um, I've had so many of you ask me for a virtual tour of the home that we're renting here in England. And so I wanted to give you what you've been asking for. It's a 16th century farmhouse that's been converted, but they've left the original doors and the original fireplaces. Um, our landlords live next door and they own horses um, and their dogs and cats that roam the property. Um, we hear owls in the trees at night. I've seen a deer and a fox. Um, so we really are living the charming and authentic English countryside life. And I want to share that with you. So let's do this. Well, there she is. Et voila, home sweet home. So they live on about 40 acres. So there's quite a bit of land here. It's a really nice pond there straight ahead get a lot of ducks in there and owls in these trees and then off to the left they have their horse stables and the pasture is there and they have Allie and Callie I think they're out riding today but I usually head over there a couple days a week and feed them apples So there's the back of the property and our landlords live to the left in the brick building and then the center there where you see all the glass that's the structure that kind of connects the two buildings together and then we rent the white building so you can imagine with this much land there's always something to do in the last few days they've been back here working on their pond it used to be a koi pond and I think they're trying to get that back uh, up and running. So I will show you kind of what some of our projects are coming up this spring. We have a cute little pond out front too, not nearly as cute as theirs, but this will definitely be something we'll be working on. And as you come around the corner here, we have quite a bit of space, so we're really looking forward to planting some herbs and vegetables out here and making our own little garden and then this is our pond and the landlord said that they have not seen it working since they bought the place in 2012 so it's kind of our mission now we've actually done quite a bit of work on it already if you can believe that it's very green and not in a good way so we cleared out a lot of the overgrowth, the moss and the trees, and put some rocks in here and kind of got it leveled out. And then we're gonna have a, an electrician come in and get some power running to it so we can clean it out and get it running. So I will definitely post some after photos once it looks beautiful. And there's my mini Winnie. I've always wanted a mini Cooper and now I have one. And I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places in the house, which is the back here. It's so peaceful. Look at this beautiful gate. I just love this. So this is our area back here. We'll definitely put some furniture back here. And you can see me doing some writing and just having a glass of wine and enjoying the sunset some beautiful sunsets back here and then there's their pond that they've been working on really nice all right it's time to head inside now I know what you're thinking this place is beautiful but you're all just waiting to see the heated towel racks and all the bathrooms so let's check it out so as you can imagine, out here in the English countryside, it gets a little muddy out here. So one thing we do have that I've never had before and I love is a mud room. So all the dirty shoes are down there. We hang our coats and scarves and hats. And then this is so cool. Check this out. 
great for removing your dirty wellies. Just like that. All right, now that we have our muddy boots off, let's take a walk inside. Oh, there's Kitty. That's Sasha Kitty. She's a world traveler. She traveled from the United States all the way to the UK to be with us. Welcome to our 16th century farmhouse, everybody. So this is when you first walk in. Nice big wood table there. There's one of three working fireplaces. A lot of windows in this place, a lot of natural light. We hardly ever have the lights on because it's just so bright and beautiful in here. So this is kind of the, the main living room. We sit in here a lot because of this amazing open fireplace. Check that out. Okay, so here's a little story on this fireplace. Our landlords were telling us they lived in this section of the building um, or this section of the house when they were building their house and this was completely covered up. It was maybe a two by two foot opening with a little tiny fireplace. And it wasn't until they started doing some remodeling and chipping away at this that they realized that this had exposed beams and all of this brick behind it. And then it was actually an open fireplace. Can you imagine having that covered up? It's so beautiful. So we sit in here a lot light fires and just relax and um, decorate a little bit for the holidays. But yeah, have Alexa there, of course, just chilling. Okay, I'm gonna show you our kitchen. This is pretty unique. Okay, so these doors are original and the doorways are also original. So one of the things you have to keep in mind when you live in an old house like this, people were a little smaller back in the 16th century, so you do have to mind your head. So you have to dip down in the kitchen a little bit. Not all the doors are like that, but a few of them are where they're quite small. And when you're 5'7", you have to dip down a little bit. So this is our cool kitchen. I love this kitchen, it's so cool. These are heated tile floors. They have oil, um, big oil drums out back that you have filled maybe twice a year, and it heats these tile floors. So makes it really nice when you come down with your bare feet in the winter time. But this is our cute little kitchen. We got all, you know, we have everything we need. Of course, washer and dryer in the kitchen, very European. They do recycle here, which is nice. So we have our little cardboard section in the corner there. And we did get, this is not normal, this large fridge. So we have a small fridge in this kitchen, but the military base lends out certain appliances if you need them. So we grabbed this extra refrigerator and freezer just so we had more space, but that was not normal here in Europe. All right, so we walk through the hall. This is the back room, kind of our TV room, nice sofa, TV there, and a little full bathroom there. And then yet another beautiful working fireplace. And these really heat up the whole house and it lasts for hours. So once you start this, you have to um, be okay with it being quite warm in the house for about 10 hours. And we have coal as well. So not only do we burn wood, but these uh, fireplaces here burn coal. So we have coal delivered once a year, which is cool. Okay, tiny staircase. You come up the staircase. You have to watch your head again. Very small stairs. First room, guest room. Can't wait for our first visitors to come meet us. Yes, it's very red. I know what some of you are thinking with a red room, but it's not that kind of room. Here we are with our guest room and another full bathroom. So this has three full bathrooms, which is really nice. And then these, of course, no longer um, are used for um, fire, but they look really pretty. So you can put candles in there and um, just make so makes for a nice decor in the bedroom. All right, so this is our bedroom. Again, gosh, don't you just love these doors? Come on in. Here we are. Look at all of that exposed beam. 
I just love it. So this is our bedroom. Again, with the fireplace. And this is my diva light. Oh, every girl loves a diva light because of what I do. I do a lot of video submissions um, for my acting auditions. And so I set up my little video area. And of course you need a diva light. This is kind of our, my little office area, clothes. And then I have a cute little bathroom too. So cute, like shower. And every bathroom has towel racks, which I love. I'm gonna have to install those when I get back to the States because those are pretty amazing. So that kind of gives you a nice idea of our beautiful little farmhouse. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our new place in England. We absolutely love it here. We have a lot of space for visitors, so hope to see you soon. And remember my motto, dream big and travel often.